Hi everyone and welcome to another chapter in Road Choice Clutch Technical Training. I'm Justin, your host, and this program is going to explore the Road Choice Self-Adjust Clutch. I'll go over how it works, what sets it apart, and why it's today's best clutch choice. As a clutch wears, the loss of material on the friction surfaces causes the clutch assembly to move slightly out of its optimal operational window. This wear is why a technician needs to measure and adjust a manual adjust clutch every so often. However, our self-adjust clutch constantly takes this measurement and keeps the clutch in its optimal operational position at all times. Here's how it works. During clutch disengagement, if the release bearing travel is half inch or less, no adjustment is necessary. A built-in loss motion window ensures optimal release bearing position. And as the clutch wears, the release bearing travels more than a half an inch and causes the worm gear to advance. The worm gear turns the adjusting ring to compensate for wear, which repositions the release bearing. Upon clutch engagement, a one-way ratchet advances and restores the ideal loss motion window. And it all happens automatically. The biggest reasons to go with a self-adjust clutch? Decreased downtime and lower maintenance costs. That part is a no-brainer. But if you have a hydraulic linkage, you must use a self-adjusting clutch. And here's why. Hydraulic linkage systems don't have free travel. The fork is tight on the bearing at all times, so the driver can't sense or feel when adjustment is needed. Also, if a manual adjust clutch is installed in a hydraulic system and is not kept in proper adjustment, the fork can contact the cover and cause premature failure. One great thing about our self-adjust clutch is that there's nothing new to learn. It has the same installation and service procedure as a manual adjust clutch. There's an interchangeable adjuster for a reset procedure too if it's needed. Another great thing is that self-adjust clutches have greater longevity. As this chart shows, if a manual adjust clutch isn't kept in optimal adjustment, you lose plate load. This lowers your torque carrying capabilities and can lead to slipping and accelerated wear. A poorly adjusted manual adjust clutch can also cause loss of release. But the self-adjusting clutch makes small adjustments as the clutch wears to keep it in its optimal adjustment window, as seen in the green line tracking bearing height. The blue line shows simulated wear of 300 thousandths of an inch. With all of its advantages, the self-adjust clutch is better for uptime and better for the bottom line. It's the way to go whenever you need to replace a clutch. Well, that's it for this chapter. I hope you'll explore the other chapters in this clutch technical training series to make sure your clutch knowledge is up to date. You'll find all the parts information you need at roadchoice.com and you can always contact us directly with questions about what you've learned here. This is Justin for Road Choice Truck Parts, and I'll see you next time.